Hello, this is Steve Armstrong speaking to you from Spirit Rock. I'm here for this past week leading a concentration retreat, a Buddhist meditation to develop tranquility and peace of mind, which is a much needed skill in our busy, hectic lives. I want to tell you about a special retreat that I'll be leading later this year in October with my wife, Kamala Masters, and a good friend, a former monk from Burma, Thlamyan. We've been asked to share our understanding of the Buddhist psychology, or the Abhidhamma, which is one of the major baskets of the teachings of the Buddha, which is widely respected in Burma and is the basis upon which they develop their meditation practices. There's a lot of interest here in the West now in understanding Buddhist psychology or the Buddha's understanding of the mind. Neuroscientists are studying uh, many meditators who have decades of experience, as well as the Tibetan monks that the Dalai Lama has, has offered for testing. And there's a lot of interest in understanding how the mind works with stress management through mindfulness techniques and the development of the mind that really draws forth the healing potential of the mind. We can really understand that the mind itself is medicine. So I've been asked to offer this retreat to help others like yourself, people who are interested in meditation, people who are interested in understanding the mind, uh, counselors, psychologists, anyone who really um, is interested to understand the mind and how to work with it, how to develop the mind. The Abhidhamma is a very sophisticated uh, analysis of the mind as understood by the Buddha. And it takes what we consider ordinary reality that we live in and it deconstructs it into the elements of the mind and the body that we all experience. It then shows how these elements, these very pixel-sized elements of the mind and body are synthesized in each moment of experience, and then how, they how these moments dynamically unfold over time, from birth to death, through our ordinary domestic and advanced meditative experiences. When I first heard of the Abhidhamma, I had been practicing in Burma as a monk for several years and I was given the book on the understanding of the Abhidhamma. At first it was very dense, trying to read and understand what is this all about. But when I applied what I had experienced and how I had understood my experience in meditation and looked at the Abhidhamma to understand it from that perspective, I found it was fantastic. The Abhidhamma had a very generic way of talking about everything I'd ever experienced, both in my domestic life as well as the beginning and more advanced meditative practices. In the years that I have been teaching, I base my talks, my instruction on my understanding of the Abhidhamma and the benefit, I think, to students is the clarity with which the Buddha understood the mind, which I try to share with them. In this way, the Abhidhamma is presented in a very accessible uh, format. Uh, on the retreat in October, we'll present each chapter of the Abhidhamma in a very uh, practical a pragmatic way so that those who want to use it in their life and in their practice will have easy access to it. Sometimes if you try to access the Abhidhamma on your own it is just so dense and so obscure, difficult to access. We'll make it easy for you. Lamint has been practicing as a monk in Burma from the age of 10 and for 22 years he was a monk. He has since disrobed and now lives in the West and he translates for our teacher, Saito Bandita, 
as well as having written a few uh, Abhidhamma books himself. He's an exquisite uh, scholar and knows the Abhidhamma thoroughly. He and my wife Kamala and I will be happy to share the Abhidhamma with you from our experience both in theory and practice so that it will benefit your life in the way that you need and want it to.